in his second season as you see Kanan come into himself more and and want to be even more involved you see Rock struggle with wanting him to be a part of this and understanding he's becoming his own man and wanting to do these things I know I was all over you about getting me started in the business but shit, I'm starting to think I was wrong that's what we're aiming to do with the show is show how Kanan became such the monster that we saw in the original Power. That's how shit works, my niggas. Street mad. I'll take it personal. <laughs> the money was in that bag. Rock's money? First day on the job when I'm already out here getting taxed. We're gonna go get that shit back. I oh, don't know. Freddy don't play, K. The way the world works. And we got tough. This shit happens to everybody. Not to me. Not no more. It's time to do that stream math. Hope your punk ass not has to try. My grandmama gave me this chain. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're gonna be talking about Power Book 3 Raising Kanan Season 2. We're gonna be talking about Kanan. I believe his character will get more darker, and this is just based off what we saw so far, you know, this season. And you know, we're gonna talk about those predictions for his character in these last four episodes. So down below, y'all give me the predictions for his character and how you see it playing out for him. Now you guys, make sure you check out my last two videos. I dropped the predictions video on Cartier Dunn's and his character and just some of the things that we may see from him the remainder of the season. So check that video out as well as the Tariq's Path to Darkness Part 5. And that's for the OG Power fans. I know a lot of you guys, y'all talked about how y'all like that those videos. I did Dre, I just started that as well. But it's always good to go back to see how certain characters' journey, you know, was and where they're at right now. But Tariq's is very interesting just to go back and see how everything unfolded. And plus, just going back, watching the OG Power, it brings back so many memories. And it just makes me appreciate how great this show really is, man. And I, I really do miss that OG power feel. But, of course, we got the spinoffs. The spinoffs were solid. And I cannot wait to see what's next in all of these spinoffs. And if they're going to expand, you know, the whole power universe to London. We know we talked about that, I believe, like a month ago or whatever. So, I believe they're going to continue to expand this universe and continue to give us great content down the line. But let's talk about the topic of discussion. We're going to talk about your boy Kanan. I believe he is going to become darker. That was more of the theme of his character um, for this season, in my opinion. We have Makai Curtis talking about that at the very beginning of this video, talking about how we're going to start to see, you know, why Kanan ended up the way he was in the OG power. And in this season, we continue to see Rock lie to him over and over again. And she's going to see those consequences for her actions because Kanan, he knows the truth. At times, he is confused because things get kind of weird, you know, when certain people tell him a certain thing and then he finds out something else. I mean, it can get confusing for the kids, so it's understandable on why Kanan behaves the way he is behaving, but eventually, he is going to blow. You know what I'm saying? We saw in the last episode, he exploded on Freddy. Freddy got what he deserved, but... Kanan has probably been building up all this energy for a long time. He's tired of all the lies. He's tired of all the different things that's going on. And after having that conversation with his Uncle Vernon, that man wants to go out there and get to it. Kanan wants to get to it and he's motivated, right? But it will be hard for him to do things with all the lies. And his mom's, you know, plotting and planning, doing things her way and doing whatever it takes to protect her secrets, right? Now, as far as the predictions for Kanan, we know Palomar gave him the strap. In the last episode, a lot of you guys mentioned we don't even know if it's any bodies on this strap, right? So in my opinion, I would not be surprised if this gun is brought back up and if it's connected to anybody, right? So we're going to find out hopefully if they, you know, decide to give us that intel on the strap, if it's that serious. Now, the big thing that we talked about last week was Rock finding out the truth because we know it's going to happen, right? We know Rock going to find out that Palomar... You know what I'm saying? Gave Kanan that gun and she's not going to like that. She's not going to like Kanan, you know, going over there. And, you know, a lot of you guys mentioned how Rock 
She was young when she was messing around with Detective Howard. We will talk more about that in the Rock predictions video that I will be doing this week. But regardless if Rock did what she did when she was younger, I'm going to tell you right now, she does not want that same thing going for her son. She does not want Kanan messing around with no grown ass woman. Plain and simple. That's just my opinion. And I think she's going to be pissed off when she finds out about it. And Paul Lamar, I'm telling you right now, she's going to be in a rude awakening, in my opinion. And hopefully we get to see if they know each other. We talked about the connection between the two, right? And the way that Rock's been moving, you would think Paul Lamar would know of Rock, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You would think she would know something of her, even if she did not know her um, personally. So hopefully they do explain that in these future episodes. Now, I believe once Kanan finds out more truth about his mother and she continues to lie to Kanan, we already know that's going to push him away. He's already, you know, second guessing some of the things that he tells her and second guessing, you know, what he wants to do around her because of all the lies in the first place. So he doesn't trust his mother at all. But Rock probably don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? The sad thing is she continues to lie to his face knowing that he is going getting information from Detective Howard. We know Rock saw him, you know, go up to Detective Howard's spot. And I mean, I know she doesn't necessarily know all the details, but she has got to know. You know what I'm saying? That Kanan is doing some things behind her back. And the thing is, he's just trying to find out what really happened. And my prediction for Kanan is it's going to be similar to season one when he found out about D-Wiz, that Rock was the one to set everything up to take out D-Wiz, right? He's going to find out eventually about Scrappy, in my opinion, as well. Kanan was one of the main people talking about Scrappy would never commit suicide. That's not something that he would do just based on his conversations with him and knowing who Scrappy was. So when Kanan finds out the truth about that, expect him to be even more upset about this. Like, man, like I knew it. I knew this had rock stank all over it. He knows his mom probably has something to do with it deep down inside. And I cannot wait to see all these secrets and everything come out to light because y'all know eventually that's going to happen. All these things that's happening right now is going to make Kanan darker. We're already seeing it um, as the season plays out. But we know eventually Kanan, he's going to be involved in the mix. And we're talking about the mess that Rock is in with the Italians, with Unique. And I know a lot of people have been talking about that as far as Kanan being involved and stuff like that. Well, eventually, I believe that's going to happen. I don't know how they're going to put him in it. But he's slowly but surely getting put in the mix. Don't be surprised by the end of the season if Rock wants him to do something else or if Kanan decides to say you know what I'm down for the cause I want to make this decision for the family I want to save us or whatever because this whole Italian thing Rock Unique Rorel come on we know it's going to blow up and at the same time Rock is doing business with Cartier Duns who's a big unknown you know what I'm saying all we know is this dude is very dangerous he has business and music and of course the arts we know what he's really doing right and as I, I talked about a few days back about Cartier Duns, in my opinion, I believe Rock is watching his every move, trying to see what he's going to do. That way she can use what he is telling her for her own advantage. I'm just using that based on what she's done in the past. And I'm pretty sure she would do it again. But when Kanan and his mom, it will be some friction in the air between the two. They will be drawn apart. But Rock, she mentioned earlier on in the season. You know what I'm saying? As a family, we're going to have static, but we blood. We always stick together. So will they really all just stick together? I guess we're going to find out by the end of the season. You guys let me know. Leave your theories, predictions. Leave it all down below. Y'all let me know what y'all think is going to happen for Kanan's character in these last four episodes. I can't wait to see it. I think it's going to get crazy. And I'm expecting your boy Kanan to step up to the plate. And, you know, finally do something big for this family, for the organization. But this time around... His decision and the things that he's going to do, hopefully, it won't have the same impact as shooting Detective Howard at the end of season one. But we're going to find out. But I will be dropping more prediction videos for you guys this week. We will go over a rock and also some more fan theories. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support, and I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.